Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and again this year in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why. Just like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing you the 2009 Toyota Crown Athlete that just came in. This is the new body design. It has 110,000 kilometers on it, which is about 68,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's these cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information on my videos and answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Toyota Crown is a five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame, so we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now, I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce our overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. The rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is give you a cross ventilation. Get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep this dash as cool as possible. So they do make dash covers if you want to buy a dash cover. Or you could go to a simple route and just put a bath towel or beach towel on it, a light color one. they try to keep that dash as uh, cool as possible. All right. So let's jump on in. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty. It's not too bad. Uh, key fob on your person, foot on a brake. It is a push start. You're going to push that one time. And it goes... Let's uh, sneak this in. Let's turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. 110,072 on the odometer. Show you a couple of the warning lights. That one right there is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type, but to release it, it's a handle. I'm going to show you where the handle is, and then, uh, you know, disengage it, goes away, and then kick it down, and it comes right on back. And this one over here, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And they pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay, I'm gonna lower this fan. Okay, off the left here you have your monitor. This one does have a rear camera. So let's start with the radio. So the radio is this top left button. Okay, you're gonna push that. And the radio's off, so I'm gonna turn that radio back on. Just lower the volume real quick. And here you got your presets. I gotta get up with my guy. They keep putting 891 as the sixth one. That should be number one, okay? 891 AFM. All right, so there you go. So I turn that off. And then this one over here on the bottom, that is your air conditioning. So you get to see the direction, how hard you want the fan, and whether the air, air conditioning is on or off, okay? And then this one right underneath the power button is gonna bring you back to the Japanese navigation, okay? Then you have your other controls for the uh, air conditioning. Down here, you could choose AM, FM, disc, whatever. Okay, ashtray lighter, the shifter, cup holders, and a center console slash armrest. That's going to give you this uh, little tray here for extra um, space. And it does have, hopefully I can show you that, it does have a power outlet. Now on the newer body style, they put it up here. Before it was down here, on the other side it was just horrible. Okay, continue to the left, you have your glove box. Then a little bit of storage on each door panel these do come out if you have something a little bit uh, bigger and then that is your passenger space over there you get your red road flare hanging out then this is the space i have on my side the seat is all the way back all the way down i am 511 as everybody loves knowing i could drive as is or slide it up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving and then it does give you a, a compartment up here for your sunglasses let's go eye level that's my eye level right there see probably about half the hood i guess all the way back now, I normally take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on other cars. We can for each one. 
but because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll also help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So, over here, it does have an aftermarket dash cam. Okay. And it does have a power um, steering wheel. So, uh, front, back, up, down, uh, what have you. And this is the handle for the emergency brake. So, remember, I said you pull this out and that disengages the emergency brake. And then as a kick type, you kick it and it comes right back on. Okay. Off the right here, it looks like it does have Bluetooth installed. You're gonna, it's all in Japanese. You're gonna have to figure it out uh, how to use it. And then you do have cruise control. Let me open this. So over here you have um, uh, auto, well your mirror controls, the push start. Oh, then over here just a little tray for uh, maybe a few coins. This guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the states if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Uh, don't please don't forget you have your gas cover release right there and then your hood release on the door panel You have your door lock and window controls and also the trunk release and it does look like it has sensors So I'm not sure where they are if they're uh, in the front or and or back So let's take a look at that uh, to turn it off your foot does not have to be on the brake You're just gonna push that one time and it goes now You see how this is moving back. That's why I mentioned the power uh, steer wheel So if it's all the way out or up and down regardless where it is when you turn off the car, that's going to uh, push it all the way in. So just be careful. If it's still moving, you don't want to use it to get out like I'm doing right now because you're going to burn out the motor. All right. Use your back. All right. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down about an inch and a half away from the back seat to my knees, each seat back does have pocket storage. Uh, with these, as always, just be careful what you put in there. If you keep it extended out, uh, these will not be uh, elastic anymore. And just a little bit of storage on each door panel. And then you do have the all-important vents. You got them. You got to make sure these are facing up. Uh, this one to the left. This one to the right. And you got to make sure this white line is all the way up, or it's not going to flow. The air is not going to flow back here. But then you have your uh, center console or slash armrest back here. It's going to give you a little space, and also you push in the front, and it's going to give you cup holders. And on the passenger seat, you do have the ability from the driver's side to go ahead and adjust that if need be. All right. Let's go to the trunk area. So it does have sensors right here. Okay, so on each side. So we'll see if the front has it after I show you the trunk. And if the trademark uh, triangle for the crowns. And a huge trunk area. Okay. Go to the front. And it does have the sensors there as well. Okay. All right, and there you have it. It's a 2.5 liter V6 engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process, but it's actually not that bad. All right, there you go, 2009 Toyota Crown Athlete. Again, this is the new body design. 110,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 68,000 miles. Military prices down at 6900 with an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6700 Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on-the-lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6700 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have. Check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes Best Pacific Magazine's Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by. We'll show you why, like we have many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.